Hello. Hi everyone. Um, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to this amazing session. Um, Lillian, yes, I just started talking. Please let me know if you can hear me now in the comments. Um, hello, Lillian. Uh, I see one Kayunga. Beautiful. Lillian, I see you can hear me now. Welcome. Welcome. Great to have you here. Uh, if you're just joining us, welcome. Welcome. Let me know where you're joining us from. Which part of the world are you in? Uh, hello. Hello, Henry. Welcome. Trying to pull out everybody in the house so that they join us. It's going to be an amazing session this evening. Uh, I've been having conversations with our very special guest and she's prepared to Hi give everyone. Us, um, good evening. Give us all the juice. Welcome to the amazing. Um Liliane, I see you're joining us from Anambra. Um dot com entrepreneur. That's an interesting name. I see I see you're joining us from Dubai. Welcome. Welcome. It's great to have you here. Uh you're just joining us. Please let us know where you're joining us from. And um love to get to know ourselves here in the room. Hello, hello, Harry. I see a lot more people are joining us across Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Awesome. Hi, Harry. Harry from Enugu. You're welcome. Welcome. Great to have you here. Hello, hello, welcome. Like some of you are shy, you don't want to tell us where you are joining us from. Yes, um, Kayunga Community Club. I, I, I wish I was seeing your name. You've been waiting since like 7.30. Wow. Um, it, it, it's going to be an amazing session. It's going to be worth the wait. I can assure you of that. Um, Nancy is one person that always over delivered. In fact, I'm ready with my book and viral, and I'm going to be taking notes to actually improve some of the things I already know, or you know, get new knowledge that of things I didn't even know before. So yes, it's going to be totally worth it. Where are you joining us from, Ayunga? I hope I'm getting the pronunciation correctly. So we're just going to wait for like two more minutes for everybody to join in. And then we officially kickstart tonight's session. Okay. Hello, Rebecca. Nice to have you here. Oh, Kainga is connecting from Uganda. That's amazing. Amazing. Awesome. Great to have you here. Now, how many of us are excited for this evening? How many of us are excited about what we're going to learn about, you know, the amazing knowledge that is about to catalyze our growth and businesses in a very, very massive way? Yeah, I'm excited. Let me let me see your emojis in the comment section. Um, so in just about a minute, we're going to officially kick start tonight's session.
in just about a minute we'll pick that we'll pick start um, tonight's session officially um i'm excited about what we're going to All right, beautiful. So I think we're done um, inviting everybody. So um, once again, I want to officially welcome everybody to tonight's session. We're going to be talking about how to attract and retain high paying clients as a social media manager. And it's going to be one of the powerful sessions we're going to be having as one of our pre-conference series for the 10 Next Business Conference. In a minute, I'm going to be introducing our guest. And um, trust me, you're not even ready for all of the value she's about to give to us. Um, before we bring her on board, I would want to quickly, um, somebody's trying to say, someone's having an issue on LinkedIn. So, Yakub, please help me, help me attend to her. Yakub is one of our tech guys on the back end, all right? So just before I bring her on board, um, I'd like to quickly do a brief introduction of um, who she is and then um, how she'll be helping us tonight, all right? We're, we're going straight into it. I can't even wait to get out of here so that she, she, will, she will take this thing. Um, so let me just quickly, quickly tell you about who our guest speaker is going to, who our guest speaker is and all she has for us, all right? So Nancy is a highly recommended and sought after result-driven digital marketing consultant with our expertise spanning across content marketing, email marketing, launch marketing, camera confidence, training social media managers, and helping high net worth individuals launch their digital products through effective content marketing. All right, she combines almost a decade. I hope you know what a decade is. This one will be uh, Paspaya to Magonia. Almost a decade. The experience is there, right? A decade of experience as an event host, MC, and digital marketing consultant to supercharge your brand's growth and revolutionize your business uh, and showcase a mastery in the field. Nancy further imparts her comprehensive knowledge in the realm of digital marketing through her weekly YouTube uh, program. This platform serves as a testament to her dedication to empowering brands with strategic tools for visibility and relevance in today's fast paced digital world. I'm talking about her YouTube program, Navigate with Nancy. All right. Nancy is a certified content strategist from Rutgers University, New Jersey. Only for that to uh, solidify her expertise, she has a comprehensive understanding of various interconnected domains, including social media strategy, SEO, video advertising, media literacy, and audacious public speaking. This wide array of skills enables her to create holistic and robust digital marketing strategies all right let me let me just stop here for a moment because if we want to read all of our our very special guest bio we might not even finish we might not finish it until the whole time is gone so if you're excited about this as i am let me see it in the comments and let's welcome nancy as um, as our host for today's as our speaker for today's topic on how to become a six-figure social media manager how to attract and retain high paying clients as a social media manager. Okay, can you all hear me? Don't worry, you'll see me in a minute. <laughs> yes, yes, we can hear you, we can hear you. Thank you so much, Nancy, it's great to have you here. Thank you for having me. Good evening, everybody. Um, wherever you're joining from in the world, I hear that we have people joining from Dubai and some other places. There's Uganda, there's Dubai, there's Lagos, Nigeria, there's um, I think that's also really cool. Welcome, welcome everybody. Yes. <laughs> I'm super excited to have all Amazing. of you. Amazing. 
I'm super excited to have all of you. Amazing. Yeah, we're, we're happy to have you as well. So, so very quick one before I finally take the backstage. Um, the, the very first time I experienced Nancy was in Lagos at the Digital Business Food Camp um, that, that was hosted by this in Lagos. And I just flew into Lagos to meet the client. And I've always admired the work of the TV town and these things happen. Let me just go and, you know, um, add to, of course, one of the core core um, compet- core, core things you must do as a good individual is to consistently learn to improve on what you know. And this was one of such programs where I'll get to learn more, meet more people and expand my network, right? So I was there and, you know, her session, when she came on stage, her session was so powerful, so insightful and practical that after the session that day, I had to go to her DM and I followed her and I said, look, thank you so much. It's not like I'm a novice to these things, but I learned so much and the energy you bring to the room was amazing. So thank you so much, Nancy. And since that time, I've been I've been one of our very serious fans across social media, and she has been dishing out massive content. And when the opportunity for this came, I'm like, no, I need to bring her on stage to actually come and deliver this value. I need this audience to actually have, you know, a piece of this pie so that everybody can be enjoying this particular sweetness that we're that we're, that we're getting from you. So thank you so much, Nancy. Um, c- could you just for a minute share your story, just briefly with us? You know, what have you started to, to get into where you are now? Mm. Thank you, Sunday, for having me here. Thank you, really. When I saw what you were putting together, you know, I I could see, you know, I, I've seen what he does. He is my very close friend. You know, the hours we spend strategizing. And when I looked at your documents, I'm like, okay, Fee, you have a you have someone coming here. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> what you put together is amazing. And it's not so far fetched from the growth accelerator conference that Fee does. Literally, mm-hmm. it's not so far. And that's just very important because it shows the commitment you're putting in to growth in your niche in your industry and i think everyone should be doing that because that is the only way actually we can reach a larger number of people with this message of digital literacy media literacy and growth that we are preaching right now and of course when i say preaching you should know i'm not talking about church but yeah my journey so far um i'm the girl that you say started from the bottom now we're here i don't think i'm there yet I don't think I'm there yet, but I'm really on my way and I am very far from where I used to be. So I've been, I'm a corporate master of ceremonies. I've been the MC that was paid 50,000 to MC events. I've gone from 50,000 to 500,000 and above that. Um, So that's growth, right? I hope people can hear that. I've (laughs) I've been the girl, the ad girl. So the girl you see in videos, in video advertising, Mm. And I teach, I teach that. So if you want to get into video advertising, yeah, I've been the girl you see in video advertising and you're paid 50,000 a day to come sit down from morning to night and do action, cuts, go again, take two, take four. I've been that girl, wow. right? I've been wow. that girl that launched courses and nobody bought. I mean, wow. you know, because from the outside, um people who launch digital products make it look very fancy so they take those pictures they do the flyers and from the outside Mm. you actually will think that if i just copy what they're doing it's gonna work for me too but what you are seeing is the byproduct of a strategy or different strategies so i it took it took me going back to school to understand strategies so from social media marketing to video marketing, to content marketing, now digital marketing. I'm the girl that has come from the bottom. So when I sit in rooms to train organizations to teach, I'm not teaching Maguire to Perspire. It's relatable because what I have is applicable in the African market, in the Nigerian market, and globally because um, the courses and schools I've gone to, most of them are not in Africa. So that 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 makes you, even before I started traveling, so I became the local girl with a global appeal because I could take global concepts and unbundle them so that 
local businesses could apply them and have solutions. All right. So right now I started teaching. Um, I have a I have a product, a digital product, a training where yeah. I teach social Local media. Girl, global appeal. Amazing. <laughs> where I train social media managers um, for high 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 paying clients. Really, because social media management has the, the, the barrier to entry is very low, it's also very easy to bastardize it. It's also very easy to be abused. You know, both the people employing and the people being employed, everybody's abusing each other. So I just sat down and decided to bridge this gap in Africa right now. I, I, would, I would love to save the world, but I'm just in the continent. So I would rather focus on the continent. And right now in Africa, there is nobody else who is doing the business of social media management. Everybody's teaching the skill. There are renowned organizations, schools, institutions that are teaching the skill. Of course, you know that all of this started from COVID. COVID was the year the world really, really went digital, where everybody had to get online, right? Mm -hmm. And we saw the rise of social media managers and community managers. But with that rise comes the abuse, mm. comes the misinformation. Foundational, yeah. And yeah. that is where I sit, yeah. that is where I stand to bridge that gap so that each of the parties are, you know, on the winning side. Nobody's losing, nobody's missing out, everybody's good to go. So, yes, that is a quick recap of how far I've come. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm fulfilling this sheet already. I hope I'm not the only one feeling this sheet next coming. That's that's amazing. I hear you. I hear you when you say local game global appeal. I mean, if you hear that, you know, that one is, is on point, you know. And then, yes, I also now understand. You see, we're already learning. Like, so there's, there's a difference between the skill of being a social media and actually the business of being a social media. Amazing. Okay, so Sunday's network seems to be fluctuating. Um, so where are his prayer team? Members of his prayer team, where are all of you? All of you gather around and begin to pray against every network issue in his house, wherever he is. <laughs> all right, guys. So when Sunday Samuel comes back, he's going to do the introduction for the conference. I'm here actually um in line with the pre-conference okay. classes um, so i'll just i'll just let you say, take the stage and get us get started on this journey um of new knowledge for the business of social media thank you so much for the stage is all yours. thank you thank you all right so when he returns he will be speaking to us about the 10x business conference this is i think i'm the one opening the pre-conference master classes so let's um, dive in into the training today. So today we will be looking at my slides. Yeah, I came with them. So get ready. All right, so Sunday, please, can I have my slides on screen? Thank you. Can I have my slides, please? Amazing. Okay. So at the end of this webinar, you will be able to identify your points of uniqueness. You will be able to attract high paying clients and you who is listening will confidently ask for what you are worth. But then it stems from what you believe you're worth. All right. So let's go to the next slide. What do social media managers do? When a word is constantly thrown around, it's very easy for you to assume that, oh, there are people who do ABC thing without actually understanding who they are. So I have created this very simple but powerful explanation to guide you so that you're not misinformed. So social media managers create and maintain brand promotions 
company information and marketing campaigns for the companies they work for across several social media platforms. They know the best social media metrics to focus on, tools to use, how to respond to questions and comments according to the company's voice and guidelines, and build the right engagement for the company. They work daily to produce new content, constantly innovating to push new ideas and formats while measuring how well these ideas perform. They may report to a social media director in larger organizations or the head of content and collaborate with other creative groups such as marketing and public relations, as well as the sales department to drive lead generation campaigns that convert into revenue. A key part of the role is to keep up with new trends along with company and industry news. I just gave you a very simple breakdown of what social media managers do, all right? So let's go to the next slide. I got it from here. It's working now. You are here because this webinar was titled The Six-Figure Social Media Manager. What does six figures look like? This here, this right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six zeros. So that is six figures. If I put a five in front of the zeros, it becomes 500,000. But then it gets very interesting. If I put a one and then I put extra six zeros, it becomes one million. So what do you really want to make as a social media manager? Six or seven figures. Whichever one you want to make, I'm here to deliver the keys to making them this night. And I hope that as you listen to me, as you go on this journey with me, you grab them. You, you hold them, you, you don't let them go. I hope you are able to do that, all right? How much are social media managers paid by regions? I'm going to be very honest with you because I need you to know your positioning. In Nigeria, social media managers are paid between 70,000 to 150,000 monthly. That means annually, if you're paid 70,000, you'll be making 840,000 Naira. If you're paid 150,000, you'll be making 1.8 million Naira every year. However, in the United States, you are paid 13.18 cents. Yeah, $13.18 an hour. Weekly, you'll be making $1,247. Monthly, you're making $5,403. Annually, you're making $64,000. Okay, let's call this 65 because it's 64845. It's almost $65,000. In the United Kingdom, you are paid 15 pounds per hour. Every month, you go home with 2,296 pounds. And every year, you are making 32 pounds, 424. Listen, can somebody do the mathematics? What's the conversion rate of pounds today? Dollar, everybody knows that, right? Can somebody do dollars for me? Six. 64845 times dollar today is 1260, I believe, in Nigeria. Can somebody do that math for me times 12? What is it good? I want to see it in the comments. Someone else should do pounds annually. 32424 pounds. I want to see that in the comments. Tell me, please. I want to see. Tell me. I'm waiting for you guys. Please go ahead. <laughs> because right now some people are wondering how do i jackpot because it's looking like this my social media management in nigeria i'd be like that a joke it's like i'm playing is this am i a joke to you <laughs> put it in the comments i want to see it in the comments Annual figures for United States, annual figures for United Kingdom, put it in the comments for me. Anybody? I'm waiting for you guys. All right. 
Now, what makes you a social, a six-figure social media manager? What makes you a six-figure social media manager? First thing, you understand marketing as a core subject. Somebody somewhere now is eyeing me. What is this woman saying? This woman just likes to complicate. She likes to complicate issues. Which one is marketing again? I just want to do social media. Hello. Every form of digital marketing stems from marketing as a core subject. I'm saying it because I hope you understand that social media market, social media management is a core, is a is an aspect of social media marketing, which is under digital marketing. Just believing that you understand that. 77 million, 77 million, okay, please hold it in your right hand as a Nigerian, hold it, hold it very well, I'm coming to that figure. You must understand marketing as a core subject. If you doubt me, let's cross check something. When we talk about digital marketing, what is it saying? Digital marketing, email marketing, influencer, influencer what? Social media words, all of them are tight words. Tell me in the comments, all of them are tight words. Marketing, thank you. You must understand marketing as a core subject. I'm not saying that you should go and study marketing. And sometimes when you see these job roles, when they're posted online, priority is given to people who studied marketing. It has a course, a diploma, whatever. So it gives you an edge. An understanding of marketing gives you an edge. This is your entrance into the six-figure realm, if I'll use that word, right? So the first thing that makes you a six-figure social media manager, which I really would want to say is seven-figure right now. In Inform, why are you opening your eyes like that? Yes, that's the figure. That is the figure, my love. That is it. Yes. <laughs> do you want to leave Nigeria? Are you sure this country is for you? Are you? Do you feel like you should be in the UK? Do you do you think your destiny is tied there? What do you think? Tell me. Talk to me. <laughs> Understand marketing as a core subject. So you have to take basic understanding courses on the basic understanding of marketing. For basic understanding, I would say go back to your social studies. From your social studies, go back to your um, business studies. From your business studies, go back to your commerce textbooks. Those things you were learning, types of marketing, factors of production, all of those things are what you will now be applying. But right now, you only do it digitally. That is online, number one. Number two, you understand your unfair advantage. To understand your unfair advantage, there are certain questions you must answer. You will sit by yourself, with yourself, and answer these questions. Question number one, what are my special skill sets? Question number two, what do I love doing? Question number three, what am I very knowledgeable about? Question number four, what can I do even if I was not paid a dime? Build your niche around the answers you get from these four questions. You see that whole conversation around finding my niche, building my niche? When you answer these questions, you build your niche. When you build your niche, you find clients in those niches. When you build your niche, you find clients in those niches. That is why a Sunday can be a social media man manager. A Zagiri can be a social media manager. They work for the same clients and they don't have the same results. Because there is an unfair advantage that Sunday has that Zagiri does not have. What are the examples of unfair advantages? One, Sunday can be very knowledgeable in landing pages. Very, he can put together a landing page in 30 minutes. Zagiri is very knowledgeable in public speaking. She is so confident that 
She can stand in front of the camera or in front of the stage and speak to one million people. She's not scared. Her heart is not beating fast. When you put Sunday to speak, he runs away. When you send Zagari to go and create landing pages, he wants to kill her. These two people with a clear understanding of their unfair advantages should attract different clients. So if a tech platform, a tech company is looking for a social media manager, their go-to social media manager should be Sunday. But how will they know if Sunday has not done the hard work of understanding his fair advantage by answering these questions that we have already identified here? So do you see why I took you from the foundation to this very point? Now, by the time you have built a niche, it is easy for the people who can afford you to pay you. Do you know why? Because there are niches that are poor. They're for poor people. There are niches that are only for the rich and the wealthy. Example, have you ever seen any real estate products? Have you seen any house, any land, any estate, whatever you want to call it, that is cheap relatively? Have you ever seen a 5,000 naira land? Have you ever... See, in the past two years, since seen a hundred thousand naira land, like the, this land is hundred thousand, buy and take you of oh, have you ever seen it? Because that is a niche where poverty has been eliminated, it is not for the poor. So, when I'm asking you to find your unfair advantage, if you find your unfair advantage in a poor niche, change it. But if you don't know your unfair advantages, how exactly do you know the kind of clients you're supposed to look for? That is why somebody can come and price you 20,000 naira for one month as a social media manager and you are considering it in, in, this, in, in this year and age. Tap your head and ask for deliverance. Say, ah, Father, deliver. Today is Sunday. Put your hand on your head and pray yourself out. <laughs> Number three, you understand money math. How much do you have to earn per hour, per week, per month to command seven figures? You see why I told you guys to do the mathematics we did earlier? For you to know how much you're actually earning in a year with the figures I gave. Now, if you're a social media manager here, please put the medium figure that you've ever asked from a client. So the medium figure, the medium figure could be something like, it's not the highest you've taken. It's not the lowest. It's the in-between. I want to see it in the comments. I want to see it in the comments. Tell me in the comments. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Now, that figure, if you're putting 40,000, for example, multiply 40,000 by 12. If you put 100,000, is this 20,000 or 200,000? What time? This is 20,000. Stephanie Nkata says 20,000. Stephanie, multiply 20,000 by 4. Or by multiply by 3. How many clients can you work with in a month three clients right so twenty thousand times three that's sixty thousand and you should not be charging twenty thousand for social media management for one month you should not be charging that how much is data if you buy ten thousand naira data the money is gone that's wrong all right but let's work with your example so twenty thousand times three is sixty thousand sixty thousand times twelve somebody very fast do that math for me you must understand money maths Ah, in infant says, Father, deliver me. <laughs> Don't worry. Everybody is not on the same pedestal. There are people that are, tr they are, they are really truthful to themselves. 16,000 times 12, 12 months in a year. So you, every month you make 60,000. 60 times. 60 times 12. This conversation is going here today. 
60 times 2 of everybody. I want that math. Give it to me. 720,000. That is what you make in a year. If I remove your house rent, I remove your, your woman, I remove your monthly self-care. Not the expensive one, or just take care of yourself as a woman. I remove your food. I remove your data. What is going to be remaining? From 720,000. You see, a clear understanding of this would make you charge with sense. The reason why you're still taking any and everything is because you are living in this perpetual state of poverty where everything around you, you think is a low hanging fruit. Ah, is AI that is really learning now? Let me go and learn how to do AI. You learn how to do pictures, AI pictures. And when you're done, the first thing you're putting on Facebook is, I did, I did these pictures by myself. You can call me your AI evangelist, if you want to do your AI pictures, send me 2,000, I'll send you 12 pictures. Okay. I send you, you send me. So 2,000, how many people do you need to do AI pictures for at 2,000 Naira before you can afford to buy one-way tickets to go and see your parents? Tickets, I mean flights. Not God is good motors. Nothing is wrong with God is good motors, but that's not what we're discussing here. You are not doing money maths. You're not wise. Mathematically, your brain does not function properly because you are in that state of poverty where you think that every money is money. Let me just take it. There is a money you're taking now that is blocking the road for your progression. If you're charging 20000 to do social media management. You are working, in fact, you are enslaving yourself to build somebody's brand instead of using that time, even if you're not earning anything, but using that time to go and learn and equip yourself and understand pricing and build your confidence so that the next client that comes, you can charge 60,000 for one. It's, I know you're coming from 20, but you are growing. So instead of charging 120K, you start from 60. And one person pays you 60. And now you have three people paying you 60, 60K every month. That is 180,000 in a month. How much do they pay? How much is the minimum wage in Nigeria where most of us are right now on this call? It's 33,000. Can you see the margin? So today... This slide, I hope and I pray that it delivers you from poverty mentality. That thing that makes you think small. And your environment is a factor. Your environment is a big factor. As much as you might still be living with your parents or for certain factors, you're still stuck at a particular environment physically. You must learn to travel in your mind. You must learn to put yourself where growth is happening. For example, on the 7th to the 9th of March 2024, the 10X Business Growth Conference is happening in Bayelsa. You must find a way to find yourself there because when you get there, you meet people who are hungry. That's where you get there. You tell people things like, ah, you don't even know. So I was talking to a client yesterday. So he said oh, he wants me to build his website and he's going to pay me 70K. And somebody that you're older than, that's even asking you for direction, will now turn and say, ah, no, I came from Port Harcourt and I built a website for 500,000. What do you think is going to happen to you? You are looking at the person. He's standing in front of you. The person does not have two heads. The person is not flying. The person is most likely you are even older than them. That environment works on your mind. So intentionally start setting yourself up by going to this kind of event where you meet people, you build networks, you build a team, a group of people who are going in the same direction like you're going. And you focus and nurture that relationship. So you can be in an environment and command results that are not of that environment. Your mind has to get to where your body wants to go first. Your mind must get there. If your mind doesn't get there, your body will not reach there. All right? So understand money mathematics. Number what is this? This should be number four, number five. You can use and interpret analytics tools. As a social media manager, 
Analytics is the strategic defense for the amount you're being paid. This is how you know if you're being underpaid. This is how you know if you should ask for a raise. You need to understand the return on investment and be able to present it to your employer in a way that solidifies their need for the result you bring. This is why they can't sack you anyhow. Because at the end of the month, when you make this presentation, the numbers are staggering. They are crazy. They are the results you commanded. This is it. Do you understand how to use analytics tools? You don't. You should be coming to the business of social media training. You should be there. All right? You drive sales in the business. I made a post this morning. Listen, it is not your job to make sales. Anybody that puts it on your letter as a social media manager that you must make sales for the brand is an abuse for you. No, it's not your job. Tell the person that I said it. Yes, it's not your job. But you must understand how to take leads from cold to warm and from warm to hot. Mm. Dicey, right? You must also know how to ensure that every sales inquiry is converted. That business has to be profitable. It's only a profitable business that will need the services of a social media manager. If you keep that nonchalant, I don't care attitude to the business. At the end of the month, if they don't make money, they will struggle and pay you and lay you off quietly. So if you see ways, strategies, avenues that the brand you're working for, the company you're working for can make money, if there is a sales conversation going on in the comment section and the sales manager is not there or the owner of the business is not there to respond and you are there to respond, you better convert that sale. Try, let it be that it did not work. But hold your chest and say, oh, I tried. Use wisdom. Now, company will get money will hire you. If not, they will add it to the job description of somebody else. Am I making sense? You have to establish thought leadership in your niche. This one, eh? For some people, when I say it, it's like I want to kill them. Jesus, Nancy, you mean I should start talking? What exactly am I supposed to say? I'm just starting. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Please, stop calling the name of the Lord in vain. You have to become the voice of the, your niche, your industry, that niche that you've identified earlier, you have to become the voice. You have to be the voice of reason. You have to be the voice of change. You have to be the voice of solution. You have to be the voice of the latest development. And you establish yourself as the go-to expert. You establish yourself as the go-to expert. What is the worst thing that can happen? Tell me, what is the worst thing that can happen that you started believing in yourself? What is the worst thing that can happen? Somebody should tell me. What is the worst thing that can happen? People should tell me now. Why is everybody quiet? What is the worst thing? Nothing. You put out a piece of content today. And this one is so... I notice it a lot of times. When people start putting out contents newly, they're like, ha, ah, only one like. Nobody's even liking me. Nobody's even following me. Nobody... Stop creating content for people. Mm -mm. When you want to establish thought leadership, thought leadership is not for people. Thought leadership is from the soundness of my mind, according to research that I have conducted. I therefore dare to say that Before, you have to go and pay TV, pay newspaper to write it. But now, you can pick your phone and dare to say it on your own social media platform. So when people come, when I see people go to other people's page to go and drag them, I, I wonder if their brain is working. Because you are on my page. The name there is my own. It's me that opened it. And you come there to drag me on top of my opinion by myself if you don't like my opinion go to your own page and establish your own thought leadership it is my ground remove your shoes get the hell out of this room 
So the moment you come under that comment section to come and misbehave, I throw you out like a thief. If you have a problem with what I said, bring it to my comment section. Come there, let us battle it mind to mind, reasoning to reasoning, intellect to intellect. Don't come under my comment section and behave like a cow. I'll treat you like one. Get out. Cows don't stay inside the house. They stay outside. So go out. Establish thought leadership in your niche. Stand out with the COS strategy. What is C? C is case studies. Present your facts and figures, but do it with case studies in your niche. What is O? O is observation. What have you observed that might not even be on the news? Last year, I understood the Barbie campaign. Barbie is a movie that they... I had a Barbie doll when I was growing up. So when they started Barbie the movie, everything was like rekindling my childhood memories, right? But then I understood it. I was paying attention to that launch. And I applied it to the launch of a digital product for one of my clients and... It was amazing. We had really great results. Was that written anywhere? No. How did I understand that? By observation. Some things are not taught. They are taught. You catch it. You run with it. What is the S strategy? Storytelling. Tell stories. Talk about your experiences. What did I just do for you? I just gave you a three-part framework on how to start creating your content. So case studies, observation, and storytelling. Use this, this strategy, the COS strategy, and it will not fail you. When clients find the experts, they ask for your, your own price lists. When they find a social media manager, they give you their budget. There is no client now. In the past, it was, yeah, I experienced this. But now, when clients call, come to me, Nancy, please, can I see your price list for your strategy sessions. Nancy, can I see your price list for launching these two products? Nobody is telling me, Nancy, what I have on my budget. Which budget? Uh, hello? Build thought leadership. Establish it in your niche. You understand legal English. I said this, I've told this story over and over. Um, one of the times I got a deal uh, it was an influencing deal for a brand. I've done a couple of influencing deals, you know, and of course they've gone around and asked questions and saw that the brands and influence for had results. So they came back to me and they told me, we drafted the contract or oh, I agreed for your, we worked on a figure that I was comfortable with and, you know, we're good to go. I didn't have a lawyer then. I wasn't this big then, but I had lawyer friends. So I had friends who were in law school or who were lawyers. So whenever I had contracts, I gave them to read. Some of them would even charge me. Then, ah, Nancy, this is your contract. You could give me 5K. So I'm saying, if you don't give me 10K, I'm not reading it for you. But then I paid that money just for them to read it. Now, this contract that they've not been giving me money, but I was paying for my friends to read it. I'm driving, I'm driving something home here. But there was a part I really did not understand. You, the legal English was a lot. So I circled it and I told that my friend, I said, please, Especially this part, I don't quite understand what they're saying there. In that part, I was I was curious about. They had hidden clauses there. The clause that uh, that has never left my head is in perpetuity. In perpetuity means that they have access to. So the content they were supposed to use it for a number of months, but in perpetuity, if I had signed that document, it means that they can use it forever. So maybe. Five years later, when I, I've had my, I've had all my children, one day somebody will be shouting on TV, mommy, mommy, come and see you. Mommy, is this you? Mommy, this is you. And they will keep making profits off that influencing material and not pay me for it. But I didn't see it. It was a lawyer that saw it and explained it to me. So be sure that you understand legal English. And if you don't understand legal English, have friends who understand it. It's not the ones that went to law school, that law school did not go through them. You understand this kind of hair? Have friends that understand what law is saying, all right? It's very important as you come online. And the last but not the least, you understand the business of social media management. There is the skill of social media management. Is it a skill? 
school, if you go to Udemy, if you go to Coursera, if you go to Allison, if you go to LinkedIn, it is being taught. Schools are even teaching it now, so it's accessible to learn. But there is the business of the skill. There is the business of social media management. And this one is not general knowledge. If I people that know it, they don't, they don't like to share it, right? And this is an arm I am proud to be pioneering in Africa right now. We are starting the next, we had the first training in December and we had almost 200 students. The next one is starting on the 22nd, which is in how many days now? I think four days or five, four days. Starting on the 22nd to the 27th of January. After that, we'll take a break because we have other things we'll have, we have to do this year as a brand, right? Then we'll re, we might return to it. I don't know when, but it's not coming soon. So if you're here and you're listening to me, I would really strongly suggest that you go to this website right now that I'm putting in the comment section. It is www.tnn.today forward slash SMM. I am putting that is in the comment section. Please pin that. Open that on your phone right now and take your seats. Grab your seats. How do they say that thing in the movies again? Grab your copy now. <laughs> yes, grab your copy now. All right. So this is a one week training. If you are a newbie, we have you covered because you're going to do a six hour training first that is strictly for newbies. So someone who does not have any experience, who's never attended any social media class, market management class, that is perfect for you. Then we spend one week understanding the business of social media management. Okay. So has somebody opened this? Can you tell me if it's working? Can you tell me if that link is opening? Can you tell me if that link is working? Hi, Mr. Abraham, I see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining. All right, so right now, I will now ask that if you have questions, this is a good time to ask me, okay? So questions, anybody, put your questions in the comments. I'm happy to take them. Sunday, are you there? Now, as you're registering for the business of social media management, I want you to click the subscribe button on this YouTube channel, which is the um, 10X, because this is where the 10X pre-conference webinars will be happening, all right? So come in for um, the conference. For If you want to find me, I am on social media at the Nancy Mosu on Instagram. I am most active on Instagram, so you can send me a DM on Instagram. I'll surely reply. So find me on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere, the Nancy Mosu. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much. Please let's let's begin to say our thank yous in the comment session. I want the comment session to be on fire now. Let me hear what you have to say to Nancy for this amazing, amazing session. And what what are your key takeaways from this session? After she was done, I see I have to spend like two, three minutes. And you are saying Sunday, are you there? I'm not here. I'm taking notes. I'm not even here with two people. You know. <laughs> Ah, this strategy. See, I open up. Mr. Abraham, I see you. I see you. Thank you so much for, for, for being with us this evening. Um, I hope everybody can hear me. Yes, I'm seeing their comments. Zagiri, thank you for being here. Nathaniel, can thank you. Me. I need to see it in the comment. Section. Elizabeth, thank, thank so you. This, what so have been dropped this night? Eh? It's not even from the screen. Time. You came fine. prepared. You didn't want to take it to the video. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nancy. Um, I hear you. I hear you when you say, you know, if you are not an expert, they will be giving you their budget. Like this is my budget also. Then you have to come for. But, but when you are desperate, they will come with respect. You know, they come and ask you. They come and ask you what's your what's your price list. You know, let's say that is not you can now come. <sighs> Thank you, Samuel. Thank you. So everyone, I'm hoping that you will make it to the. 10x business conference so summer sunday is putting it's actually sunday samuel so i believe that your house you have pastors everywhere because sunday is is very biblical samuel very biblical all of them one person all right so this is the pre-conference master classes and i have just opened that tonight so going forward Please keep your eyes on Sunday Summer's pages. More amazing speakers are going to come. 
So you're going to encounter a lot of other people who shape your minds, blow your minds, but definitely give you serious value, all right? So thank you so much, everybody. Um, of course, the link to the course is on the screen. That is the www.tnn.today forward slash SMM. You can find me on Instagram at the Nancy Mosu. And um, you can also follow 10X Business Conference on Instagram as well. All right. So thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Mr. Sunday, do I have any other duties to perform tonight? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Like, can you hear me clearly now? Very well. Yeah, it's my belief. It's me and them after that. Anyways, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for joining us tonight. I'm super, super grateful. I'm trying to look at the comments. I see it's on fire. Everybody's is sending in their tags. You believe out so much. Thank you so much. Please, I hope people are seeing this link. Oh, go and grab your copy of uh, go and grab your seat at Nancy's upcoming training. After now, we don't know when next is going to happen. And I'm sure you have you have gotten a piece of the pie you are going to get. I was saying earlier that. You know, I was when you were asking whether I'm here after your course, I'm not here. I was busy taking notes. You know, I have to spend months with you just to take it all in after after your session. It was amazing. It was fire as usual. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I hear you, you know, some things are they are caught, they are not taught. And <laughs> when you are the expert, people approach you from the angle of your excellence, recognizing that it's not coming to tell you their budget, it's about understanding that you have a price, you know. Yeah. And then there are certain kinds of people you work with. So some of these things, <laughs> some of these things, they help shape uh, perception and actually attract the right kind of people. Thank you so much for for making time to do it us from your very busy schedule. And then I'm sure many of um, our people will be looking forward to hear from you. Um, she has shared our social media handles. We're also going to be sharing it via email, and then um, communications will continue much later after now. So I, I don't know. Do you do you have a few minutes to take questions? Do you have questions? Okay. Um, Peter is saying understanding money mass to that for me. I'm sure some people have not recovered from the the mass they did, the 77 million and the other million calculations they did. I'm sure some people have not recovered. <sighs> we'll get there. It's a marathon, not a sprint. We'll get there. We'll get there. There are no questions here. I don't see no questions. Okay. As a starter, how do you get a portfolio that stands out? That's a question. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you so much, Nancy. I think that's all for now. Um, we're going to be, we'll continue communications after. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm seeing that there are no questions. That means it was well on that. With the way you even broke it down, I don't even think there should be many questions. So I'm not surprised. Thank you so much, Nancy. Um, it was great to have you here. Thank you. So before I leave, I'm going to answer Ben Sonnet Chris. Ben Sonnet Chris, as a starter, you don't have a portfolio, but you can build one. So to build one, start with internships. There are paid internships. The money might not be a lot, but start with internships. Start by volunteering, but be very clear on what you're interning as. Be very clear as what you're volunteering for because it must reflect in your portfolio. All right? So ensure that you are given a... What's, that, what's the word? Um, onboarding document that has a title social media manager so that you later you when you put it on your portfolio you can outline what you've done okay all right everybody so thank you so much see you wherever you find me at i am the nancy Mosu. and if you're coming to the business of social media management training see you in class bye for now All right. Thank you so much. Um, that was Nancy. And then thank you so much, everybody, for joining us today. Um, this was the first session of the 10X Business Conference pre-conference series. And we've been honored to have um, Nancy, who is a global 
digital marketing and master of ceremony um, actually come online and teach us how to become six figure social media managers and teach us the business of social media. We're going to have more series in preparation for um, our core event, which is the 10X Business Conference. It's a three days massive, massive conference happening live in um, Yenagua Bayasa State, the glory of all lands. It's going to be happening from the 7th to the 9th of March in Yenagua Bayasa State. And it's going to be very, very powerful because we have a lineup of over 14 speakers. Um, we have people like Emeka Nobis, we have people like Shola Adeshawakin, we have people like Pastor Femi Lazarus, um, Apostle Femi Lazarus, we have people like um, Fee TV, we have Gusi Tobi, we have lots, lots of amazing speakers that are coming. And um, it's going to have, it's going to be filled with practical networking, you know, and learning sessions, and they are going to connect with new knowledge and do away with old knowledge, as you used to know, that are going to serve as um, foundations for new levels of excellence in your life and your business. And I'm looking forward to see everybody there. The website for registration is uh, Africa. Once you get to the website, you're going to, it's a very easy website to navigate. Um, once you get to the website, you'll be able to find more information about the conference and how to be a part of the conference. So thank you so much, guys, for today. And um, I look forward to seeing you in our next pre-conference uh, webinar. And of course, I'll be looking forward to personally host you at the 10 Next Business Conference. Thank you so much, guys. Have a lovely, lovely day.